hey guys happy sunday welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing great today i'm going to show you how to create a paper cut alphabet logo like this exactly like photoshop csc on your android smartphone using pcelab if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and if you want to learn any new skills in graphics keep on watching my channel for amazing video like this please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time let's get started Tickography skills with creativity. Let's go to our size, background size, and let's set YouTube thumbnail size. Then click OK. Now use white background. Use white background as your background. So let's use white background. So after that, the next thing to do is to go to our shape. Let's go to our shape. Then we'll pick triangle shape. You can see. Then you see everything right. Click OK and go to your shadow. So apply shadow so that it can be noticed. It is it can be obvious so that you can we can see it. So I'm trying at least to apply the shadow by setting my blur radius to you can set it the way you want it but make sure that you set it in such a way that it will, will, will it will go along with our objective so i'm trying at least to adjust set my hex to three i will still readjust i'm trying at least to get into something So I set the Y to 0, then hex into 1. So now what we are going to do is to um, go into the test options, then we'll erase the test template, then we type T, capital letter T. Then Time New Roman is the font I'm going to use here. Time New Roman. You can go to the phone downloaded at the description of this video or you can go to google then search for time new roman then get it downloaded and extract with z archiver so increase the size to your own taste so after that go to your color then give it a black color then you can click on the plus so as to add make it more deep it is what the step i just did they now position it exactly exactly like this so it has already go back after i position it then i sent it back I'm trying to rotate and see whether it could work. But I can I can rotate this L triangle to one particular side. But I don't think this will work. So we have to rotate it back. It won't work. So go to your So I'm trying to reduce the uh, shadow, reduce the shadow by click the plus sign in the button line, reduce it, reduce the radius as well to 3, then everything is plumb like this. So we're almost there. So let's adjust the, ra uh, the rotation of the uh, triangle. We 
because it won't work like this let's go to rotation then you rotate it back and position it exactly like this so move left and right so this is absolutely great but we are not yet done so go to rotation set everything back to zero good now click mark now what we are going to do is to position to the center using our relative position then the T we have to position it to the center it not work then we use our position to move it up a little bit let's move it up good After that, the next thing to do is to copy we'll copy the triangle, then go to the color, give it a black color, then go to shadow. The shadow is already there. Click on mark and go to opacity and reduce the opacity to zero. Good. Then use your relative position to position to the center. Then you send it back. Go to layer and move it back. Now, so the top one, sorry. We will reduce the shadow for, for the top one. So after that, we will now increase the size. <clears throat> we will increase the size of the top one, of the top uh, layer. We increase the or uh, the size to cover up. As you can see, we're almost there to cover up everything. Just increase the size, then you position it and make sure that the triangle at the back, only the edge, the line edge is showing under the top layer. Exactly the way I'm positioning it. So that shadow, shadow that was formed that is showing on the ground will be the one that will form a line of cuts. So can you see? So I'm applying. I'm trying to apply the radius to the uh, to the layer to the second layer, not the upper one. So that it will look like something is coming out where the paper was cut. So I'm trying to reduce, click the plus sign where the color is, then reduce the color. You see, I'm reducing the top, the, the third one. So, this is good. Now let's write, write the brand name. Max Sorry, my keyboard is on my angle to max Now done that is correct spelling now We are going to maintain the same color. We won't change the color
then we'll go to bold and bold the color i mean bold the uh, test After bold it, then we will go to line spacing and space it to 19. Then we will increase the size and position it exactly the way I am doing it. Then relative position to position to center. Then our the website will be the way uh, 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 be underneath. So to be the I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. And I can see my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me to